In this video, we will look at how you can run VMware Workstation 8 as a server with shared virtual machines. This video is based on VMware Knowledge Base article 2005585. To share a virtual machine, right click an existing virtual machine. Select Manage and then Share. You will see a wizard which will allow you to give a name to the shared virtual machine, move the existing virtual machine to the shared library, or to make a clone of the virtual machine to be shared. To configure shared virtual machines, click on Edit and Preferences, then select the Shared Virtual Machines tab. Virtual machine sharing and remote access are enabled by default when installing Workstation 8. Select Change Settings to disable sharing or to change the port of connection or the shared virtual machines directory. To connect to a shared virtual machine, click on File and Connect to Server. Provide the IP address or the hostname of the host machine running the workstation server, followed by the username and password of a local admin on the remote host. Shared virtual machines can be configured to start up with the host system by using the auto start feature. Right click shared VMs and select manage auto start VMs. Select the virtual machine you would like to start up using auto start. You may change the delay between the starting of the VMs if you want. To configure roles and permissions right click on shared VMs. Select either roles or permissions. A role is a predefined set of privileges which define individual rights that a user needs to perform actions and read properties. Access to remote hosts and shared VMs can be controlled by creating permissions. To create a permission, pair a user or group with a role and associate the pairing with an object. This concludes our look at running VMware Workstation 8 as a server with shared virtual machines. For further tutorial videos, be sure to subscribe to our KBTV YouTube channel and our KBTV blog. Thank you for choosing VMware.